Hello everyone, my name is Courtney. Um, this tutorial is an attempt to alleviate some of the issues that are surrounding people uh, jailbreaking their iPhone 4, uh, which is uh, the iOS 6.0.1 build. Um, what's basically happening, happening is that people are getting the frozen Apple screen, the frozen pineapple screen. Um, it's not actually jailbreaking. Just all of these issues and almost 100% of them are due to the simple fact that the people are not installing the correct uh, iOS build for their iPhone. So for the iPhone 4, there are actually four different kind of builds. You have the 4S, there's the Global, there's the AT&T, which is the GMS, and then there is the CDMA. Um, what I would suggest if you have not been able to successfully jailbreak your iPhone is for you to download all of these. The reason I say that is because my phone is actually a GMS, which is uh, through AT&T, and so I actually downloaded this, attempted to install it, didn't work. So then I went for the 4S, then I went for the CDMA, and then I thought, well, fuck it, let me try the global. So I downloaded all of them, which you can see here. So I have one, two, and three, and four. And what turned out being the one that actually worked was the global. So if you are having any issues um, jailbreaking your phone, as described before with the frozen pineapple, apple, whatever it is, it is almost 99.9% .9 if not 100% due to the fact that you are trying to install the incorrect build. So like I said, come over to absentjailbreak.com forward slash all dash apple dash firmwares dash four dash iPhone dash iPad and blah 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 blah. It's right here. Um, go there and download all four of them put them in a folder and then you will be able to jailbreak your phone so basically what we're gonna do right now is we're gonna go through the motions I've already done it to my phone but I'm just gonna reinstall it we're gonna get Cydia installed and then we're actually going to unlock the phone so that we can toss in any sim card so I am not gonna fast forward any of this you're actually gonna see it the way it plays out and how long it plays out so if you're stuck on something that takes forever it's because you fucked up somewhere so let's go ahead and get started so basically we're going to open up uh, Red Snow, and I have version uh, 0 0.915 B3. One of the first things you're going to want to do, I found to work, is right click on the Red Snow EXE file, go to Properties, Compatibility, select Run This Compatibility Mode for Service Pack 3 XP, and then also click on Run This Program as an Administrator. Once you're done with that, you've got these all selected, go OK. Now let's go ahead and open it up. Yes. Now we're going to go down to Extras. We're going to come over here to select the IPSW. This is the actual where we uh, select the build for the phone. Like I said, you're going to probably have to go through all of these until you find the right one. I found that the right one was the global, which is the 3-1. So let's double click on that. Following build was identified. OK. Now we're going to go back and we're going to click on Jailbreak. Make sure at this point that your phone is off. So let's go ahead and just shut this off. Don't shut it off by just holding down the power button. Actually use the slide function. So hold the power button down until you see the slide function. Shut it off. The reason that we're going to do this is because it eliminates any other possibilities. So we're troubleshooting from ground one so that we can make no, f no mistakes, no fuck-ups. So once it's completely off, we're going to come back to the computer. We're going to make sure that Install Cydia is selected. Click on Next. Now it's asking us to put it, the phone in DFU mode. So what we're going to do is we're going to put the phone in our hand. We're going to select Next. First thing we're going to do is hold down the power button. We're following the instructions on the web, on the, uh, web page or on the uh, computer. We're holding down the power button and the home button. Now we're letting go of the power button, still holding down the home button. And what's going to happen is it's going to connect automatically on the computer, just like that. So then we release, set it back down, let it go through the motions. You can see the build is being processed, waiting for reboot. Rebooting. Now we can see that it is uh, downloading the jailbreak data. 
I hope that you can see this. I can't see what the webcam's doing. So I don't know exactly where the hell I'm at. So if at this point you start seeing please waits to where it completely pushes this all the way up and there's nothing but please waits, then you've screwed up. You fucked up somewhere. If you see nothing but please waits from top to bottom and you wait five, six minutes, you've got the wrong build. takes a minute or two and again if you see the please waits from top to bottom then you have the wrong build you might as well just shut the phone off and start over with a different build that's why I suggest downloading all of the builds at one time keep them in one folder and then systematically go through them and here we go now I've already got this all installed so it's just gonna jump through it pretty quickly so now we're rebooting automatically. We see the Apple sign that'll hang out for about a minute as the phone reboots. Like I said, I can't see what I'm actually showing you. I wish I could. There's probably some feature on my computer. So if I'm not showing you what I'm supposed to be showing you, sorry about that. So, okay, so here we are. So we're going to slide to unlock. Now, if you get this to where it's kind of froze up, just hit the power button, hit the power button again, try it again, hit the power button, power button again, and finally it'll unlock. So at this point, you won't see Cydia. I've got City installed, so pay no attention to that. Let's just pretend like it's not even there. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go back to the computer. We're going to shut Red Snow down completely. Shut it all the way down. If you are skipping this step and you keep on getting fucked up, then it's because you are not shutting it down. Shut down Red Snow all the way. I don't care what the other uh, videos say. If you have multiple um, jailbreak files in a folder or on your desktop, what happened to me was that it was selecting randomly as I was going back and then hitting just boot. It was selecting randomly, so of course it wouldn't work. It wouldn't follow through because it was the wrong build. So shut it down completely. Once that's shut down, we're going to go ahead and we're going to power our phone off again. So we're going to hit the power button until we get the slider. We see the slider, power it off, set it down. Okay, we go back to the computer. And we open up Red Snow again. Now we're going to go to Extras, select IPSW again, select the same build. You make sure it's the same build. If it's not the same build, you're going to get stuck. Same build, open it up. OK. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go to Just Boot. Just boot, we're going to go through the same motions that we did when we jailbroke the program. Sorry about all the noise, we live in Waikiki, the Alawai, it's very noisy. So, now we're going to go next, we're going to put our phone in our hand first. We're going to click on next, and we're going to do the exact same thing, sticking in DFU mode. Hold down the power button, home button and power button. Release the power button, hold the home button down. And we have connection. So now let's go ahead and set the phone back down. Uploading kernel. So now we can see that we have the pineapple. If you get stuck at the pineapple, and more than four or five minutes go by, you've got the wrong build. You're trying to install the wrong build. I've done all of these scenarios. It's always the same thing. It's the wrong build. So we can see the pineapple. 
everything's done on the computer end. Now we're just waiting for this to reboot. If once the pineapple disappears, you see the Apple logo, and it stays on the Apple logo, you have the wrong build. <coughs> And there we go. So it automatically goes directly into uh, your unlock screen. So what we're going to do is we're going to use the slider. And like I said, if it gets stuck, just power it, power it again. And now when you come over, you're going to be able to see Cydia. So with that done, what we're going to do is we're actually going to unlock the phone now so that you can insert any SIM card. So basically what we're going to do is we're going to open up Cydia. Okay, and you're going to see a few options, Big Boss, Cydia, Dev Team. You're not going to see the, uh, the repo, the uh, iparelhouse.com, or however the hell you pronounce that. Let's let it reload. It's reloading data. I don't know if this will do it on your end. So what we need to do, though, is we need to get this, this program right here. So what we have to do is... HTTP for colon forward slash repo dot so okay so write this down HTTP colon forward slash forward slash repo R E P O dot I P A R E L H O S dot com got it good so what you're gonna need to do to get that Oops. Sorry about that. Is you're going to come over here to edit. Then you're going to come over here to add. And now you're going to type in the address that I just told you. Once you've typed it in, you're going to click on add source. Once you've added the source, it's going to load and you will see that you now have the uh the repo.iperlhouse.com uh, so let's go ahead and say done so once you've gotten to this point what you need to do is click on it open it up and you're gonna see here you've got ultra snow fixed for 6.0 that's what you're gonna want to use but before you install ultra snow what you need to do, or excuse me the, the fixer for ultra snow you need to actually install ultra ultra snow in order to install ultra snow go back to source Go to Big Boss, do a search, type in Ultra, and then you're going to see Ultra Snow right here. <coughs> so what you're going to do once you see Ultra Snow is you're going to click on it, and you're going to click Install. It's going to install, it's going to respring, so it's going to reboot, and uh, what you're going to have to do is turn it back on go through the slide go back to Cydia you're gonna get back to this point then it's gonna be installed now what you have to do is you have to install the uh, ultra snow fix so to do that you're just gonna come over here you're gonna click on the ultra snow fixer for six point X and you're gonna install once that's finished installing you will have uh, Joe broke your phone, you will have unlocked it so that you can use any SIM card and uh, you'll be good to go. So to reiterate, what we have done is go back to the site, go back to the computer. We went ahead and we downloaded each one of the uh, iPhone builds and you can go to absinthejailbreak.com to find those, just do a search for uh, iOS for iPhone, whatever. You're going to download the 4S, the Global, the AT&T, and the CDMA. Once you've downloaded all those, you're going to open up your Red Snow, and you're going to go through the motions just like we talked about earlier. And that's it. Hopefully this helps some people. I know that it took me 11 hours to finally get mine uh, jailbroke. So I spent a lot of time troubleshooting, trying to figure out what the fuck was going on, and that was it every single time. It was the wrong build. So hopefully this helps everybody. Have a great day.